Pancakes used to be such a huge part of our diet. I love pancakes. And I was really sad when it came to that point that I realized that those two to three cups of flour that it took me to make the pancakes just set me over the top. Good morning, guys. It is early on the homestead. It is still dark or somewhat dark outside. You can see out there. And today for Stock in September, I want to focus on something that we use a lot for breakfast. Now, last night, Chris and I, we went out for date night. Did you guys know that the Landmark Theater has a twosome Wednesday night to go see the theater? With tax, it was 41 bucks. We got our two movie tickets. We got popcorn, drinks, and candy. I know, terrible, right? But I still tested 7.7 .7 this morning, which isn't too bad for me. But that's not what this is about. This is about what we purchased before we went to the movies. We went to Walmart. That's right. Walmart is one of our favorite places to buy this particular item and it is something that we use a lot of and that is boom, boom, boom. I know I can't do the drum roll, but it's early in the morning too. So my drum roll would be lame anyways We stocked up on almond flour Woohoo! Walmart by far this Joe's almond flour is the cheapest we have been able to find three dollars for a bag It's 200 grams. So for 15 bucks for those five bags, we got a thousand grams and it is still way cheaper than most of the other sources that we have found. To buy a kg anywhere else is $17.99 upwards to $21.99 depending on the brand, etc. right? So we really like this because we're only opening small bags at a time rather than a big bag that I got to figure out how to store. And it is quick and easy to just grab a couple every time we go and not have to worry about it. It doesn't break the bank to do it. So what are we going to make today? We're going to make Dutch baby pancakes with almond flour. Dutch baby pancakes have definitely become one of my favorite breakfasts. They are popular around here. We probably make them twice a week. Yeah. And uh, the nice thing is they don't set off my blood sugars when I use the almond flour. So we're going to quickly go through this recipe and then we're going to try them out with my low sugar raspberry jam that I made earlier this summer. It would have been, I guess, two months ago now. And then we'll do a test after and see. But so far, they've been fantastic. Now my rate on my fasting was a little higher this morning than normal, but that's due to our splurging last night on a bunch of, well, it wasn't really junk food, but it was just a lot of food. Now, first thing we need for this recipe, of course, is eggs. You're gonna need four large eggs, or for myself, I use six because these are nice little silky chicken eggs. Yes, that is what we have here on the homestead, silky chickens in a big way, and love them but the little eggs three of them equals the same weight as two of your uh, store-bought or larger chicken eggs so that's where we're starting we're breaking open six of our eggs into the bowl i always crack them into a separate container first because especially with homegrown eggs sometimes there's surprises you probably hear my coffee happily perking in the background i am excited for coffee this morning let me tell you but what we're going to do now we've got our six eggs or four in your case, but eggs into the uh, bowl. We're going to get our frying pan heating up. This is definitely one thing that is important. I like to heat up my cast iron pan on the stove first before I pour the Dutch baby in there. Now you could also use, if you're using um, um, casserole dish or something like that, in the oven, heat it up first. The one thing I don't like about my oven is when I get it going full tilt, it sets the fire alarm off. So I like to use the stove top to heat my cast iron. Then we're going to put about two tablespoons of butter in there, but it tastes really amazing. And then we're going to pour everything else in. Now our Dutch baby is so simple. This is why I love this breakfast. The eggs are in, pinch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. And then I do a half cup of almond flour and a half cup of oat flour and one cup of milk. That's it, stir it up. Shake in a little bit of cinnamon just for a little bit of spice and pour it into that hot skillet. Let it kind of start to bubble along the edges and then into the oven it goes. Our oven is preheating right now, 375, and you're gonna cook this for about 15 to 20 minutes. I tend to watch it, it really will poof up on the sides. And then when it's nice golden brown, I turn off my oven, but I leave it sitting there for a little bit so I don't set off the fire alarm. And that just gives it that 
sweet amount of cook through. It's, it's five minutes in the oven once I turn it off, but the heat is still holding in there. So uh, basically 20, 25 minutes to cook these, but let's get all the ingredients in. Oh, oven's ready. So as I mentioned, so easy. I whipped that all together in about two minutes and that was extended because I was videoing. But, oh there, that's getting nice and hot. That's what you want. The skillet to be good and hot before we pour this in. Our oven is up to temperature. Our coffee is just about ready to drink. I love this for a morning breakfast, especially when the kids have school because I get up about 10 minutes early, get it into the oven, then work on lunches while it's cooking. It just works out perfect for a great breakfast. And it's still healthy and hearty for you. And that's it. Now it's in the oven. We're gonna just wait for this to get ready. Then we will have our wonderful homemade raspberry syrup on top of that with coffee. It's gonna be wonderful. I'll be back in a bit to show you how gorgeous these Dutch baby pancakes look and we'll eat them up. Pancakes used to be such a huge part of our diet. I love pancakes and I was really sad when it came to that point that I realized that those two to three cups of flour that it took me to make the pancakes just set me over the top. These Dutch babies, have replaced them completely in my book and they are so tasty and now that they're out of the oven all it is is a couple tablespoons of our uh, homemade raspberry syrup on there just like that and away we go although I haven't poured our coffee yet but that's gonna come with us we're gonna enjoy this and then I'll come back with a test to see what I score later all right, guys, well, we are back in from chores. It's been two hours and five minutes since I ate, and it is time to test myself. I am very curious. Dutch baby pancakes are something that we don't always test with anymore because of the fact that um, I usually come back with a decent reading, right? So I'll be curious after our misbehaving night last night as to what it says. Let's look together. 7.4, pretty awesome. So for those that don't know, basically you want to be under 7.8 uh, two hours after a meal in order to be in normal eating blood sugar range. So certain meals we're learning are definitely helping me get into that range. Now, one thing I will say, which I maybe haven't mentioned before, is I am choosing to battle my diabetes with food rather than medicine. And uh, so far it's been working very well. As you saw at the beginning of this video, I mentioned that I was still 7.7 .7 this morning. That is high. You were supposed to be, I've never been this low, but I think it's under 5.8. Uh, if it's not, I will write it down below here. Um, but I do believe you're supposed to be under 5.8 as a fasting. And the lowest I've been able to get is a 6.7 on a fasting. So the fasting is the meals that I'm really having trouble with. That's not a meal. It's uh, definitely something that uh, if you've got any tips or tricks that you've learned along the way, I'd love to hear them because we are trying kind of a lot of different things, apple cider vinegar, all sorts of stuff, trying to get that fasting one down. But as you can see, and we're going to showcase this kind of throughout the winter months here with the different meals that we're eating and how they affect my blood sugars and the things that we've changed um, as we've been going through this process. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you give those Dutch baby pancakes a try. They are so good and we really have converted to almond flour. The one thing I will say is I used oat flour in this particular batch, but I have made them with whole wheat flour as my other half cup rather than oat flour and still had great readings. So it seems to be that there's a sweet spot on the number uh, or the amount of actual flour that you can put into them, or at least that I can put into them. So have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.